Okay, so yesterday I was talking to my friend uh, about my uh, Tesla Model 3 performance. And he was kind of like, oh, okay, that sounds interesting. And so, um, but he was kind of talking about, well, you know, I've never had a Porsche. Uh, um, and so he's kind of like, yeah, I'm, 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 having, I'm thinking about it. All right, so to be fair to him, I've already had a Model 3, uh, uh, I'm sorry, a Porsche 911. So I, I know what it's like to drive it. Um, yes, it was fun to drive. I really enjoyed it. Um, but, you know, that's in the past because it's a gas car. All right, so this. So as I was talking through it, I, it's like, well, what's the real point? Is the real point to have performance or is the real point to have the engine make noises and stuff like that, right? I mean, for, for those of you who have never experienced the, uh, the 455 four barrel or something like that, yeah, okay, I get it. Because let's face it, I've, I've, my parents had a station wagon, it was a 454 barrel. That was my car to take to, to high school and to bring, give my brother a ride to uh, to band. So, um, not exactly the car you should give give your teenage son. But anyway, whatever. But so, anyway, that, that was the main thing was, so what what is the difference here, right? That's the real question. So, let's start off with the, the slowest car in this list by a fair amount, um, not that I think, on paper, let's put it that way. On paper, this is the slowest car. All right, so nine, my mother had a 1971 Toyota Corolla. Um, you know, now, now I think about it, I don't, because they were talking about at some point there was an upgrade. Uh, it went from 1200cc to 1600cc. But anyway, whatever, no, I, I don't know if I have that cord correctly. I, I don't remember. I know it's a Toyota Corolla. And I'm pretty sure it was 1971. Anyway, um, 0 to 60 times, 6.8 seconds. And car and drivers describing getting up to 70 miles an hour sound like the car is going to fall apart, basically. So, wow, okay. Um, energy efficiency I found was uh, 22 to 27 miles per gallon, okay? Um, the first car I bought for myself that so replaced the station wagon, basically, from my viewpoint, was an English Ford Cortina. Uh, the time I found for it was 12.3 seconds. I find it hard to believe that it would have made 12 points, but my car was old. I mean, it was fun. It was a fun little car. Enjoyed driving it, but I don't know. I don't think so. Uh, next one on my list is I had a Ford Courier um, mid to late 70s, I guess. I, I don't know the year. And uh, for some reason, they had 11.0 seconds on the on the search. Uh, it, I, I, I think it just like Toyota Corolla. I mean, may, maybe it would have been a little bit faster, but not by much. But still, it was a fun little car truck to drive. Okay, so now we're getting into a little bit sportier territory. My mother had a Triumph TR3. Um, it actually, the guy who had it rolled it, uh, killed uh, his girl or whatever. So uh, my mother bought it in a junkyard. But still, it's a fun, it was a fun little car. And, and you know, that, that car, when we moved to, from uh, Long Island to Florida, me and my two brothers sat in the back of that car. It, there was a, they had, my mother had a little bench seat back there. Right, that's, that's all, we, we just had a little bench seat. Um, and, and my mother and father just sat in the front in the buckets. Anyway, whatever. Um, uh, they're saying it can make 10.9 seconds in a zero to 60. Um, I think if you're really good at it, you maybe you could. Um, I, I don't know. And, and that, it's been a long time since I've seen that car. Um, what surprised me is that 
it's saying that the average miles per gallon, so city 16, highway 35, uh, 35 sounds really good. But, you know, it was a small light car. It was a, it had two, two barrels, if I remember right, something like that. So, I mean, it had, it had some performance, yes. It's definitely, definitely that was there. Okay, so 1976 what I tend to call my first real car that I bought was a Pontiac Firebird. Mine was just a 352 barrel. Um, I, I didn't find the numbers for that, so uh, I found a Firebird F Formula 400, which I think had a four barrel, and that was a 9.1 second car. Um, yeah, I don't think my car could do that, but it was fun to accelerate in. It had decent path. Okay. Now, the next car on my list is Ming's Model 3 Rear Wheel Drive. On paper, it can do 5.1 seconds and 0 to 60. Whoa, baby. Um, I, I, I guess when I was looking at it, when I was looking at the rear wheel drive, I, I was saying I don't want a Model 3 that's slower than my Model Y. Right, and I think I said that out right. Anyway, whatever. Peace and Army. Um, the EPA range is 272 miles. Um, I'm guessing she she would have no problem getting under 250 watt hours per mile. The 250 watt hours per mile is four miles per kilowatt. So the next car on my list. This is my 1999 Porsche 911. On paper. It could do 4.9 seconds, 0 to 60. That's pretty decent. Um, at some point when I was when I was looking up before, I found a higher number. It must have been a quarter time. So whatever. Um, and uh, mileage 17 and 24. So I know if you whomped on the accelerator, you weren't going to get 17. If if you were driving really conservative and only whomp on it once in a while. Yes, you get 17. Uh, 24, I don't think I ever saw 24. But whatever, I mean, I didn't buy a Porsche 911 to worry about when I can get 24 miles per gallon on the highway. Right, that, that's not part of what the equation was. All right, so my 2022 Model Y Long Range. And you know, a Model Y Long Range is not really about performance it's it's about pulling trailers carrying people stuff like that carrying loads anyway but so my Porsche 911 was 4.9 seconds 0 to 60 my Tesla Model Y is 4.8 seconds so there you go uh, 330 uh, EPA range I can tell you that I can get around 260, uh, 270 driving 70 miles per hour. Um, that's that's uh, what hours per mile. So it's 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 better than three and a half miles per kilowatt. All right, my 2020 Model 3 performance. On paper, it can do 3.1 seconds, zero to 60. Whoa. Um, the range is 299 miles. I just did a 70 mile per hour range test and it came back with 240, 240 miles, zero to 100, or 100% down to zero. Okay, so that's the last of the cars I actually have. I have test driven a Tesla Model S. Oh, that was such a nice car. If you wanna do road trips and you can afford it, the Model S is the way to go. Okay, 3.1 seconds, just like the Model 3 performance. 405 miles range. Now, when I tested that Model S, uh, long range, what do you even call it, standard? I think it was getting around 280, 285 watt hours per mile. So, I mean, it, it, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know if they actually make that distance. I would tend to think not, but I was also going like, oh man, feel the acceleration on this car. 
right? So there you go. Uh, so the last car on my list, I haven't test driven this. The Model S Plaid. I, I, I After driving the Model S, I can't imagine driving a Plaid. It would be nuts. For some reason, it said 2.3 seconds. For some reason, I thought it actually did 2.0 seconds. But, you know, when you're in this range, it's hard to tell exactly what's real. And uh, 396 uh, miles of range, uh, 100 to zero. So, um, wow, that's pretty decent. Of course, that's uh, what, 120,000, something like that. And the, model, the regular model, this is 80,000 something. Whereas my Model 3 Performance, of course it was used, it cost me 41,000. So there's a huge difference in price there. So if price is a concern, yeah, Model 3 Performance, excellent car. Oh yeah, that's great. Um, there you go. I hope you find this interesting and entertaining. And hopefully, uh, if you're trying to figure out on this kind of area what to go for, hopefully this is useful and for you. Um, let's see. So, the, okay, so Tesla Model Y long range tested at 70 miles per hour, 100% to 0%, returned uh, 252 miles. Like I said, the Model 3 performance. Uh, 70 miles per hour, 100 to 0%, 240 miles. There you go. Onward upper charge.